Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I have a World War II package you guys can see here. It looks pretty rustic and insane looking. We're gonna find out what's inside. All right guys, so this is the actual packaging right here. As you can see, it has the examiner notes basically on it. And this basically is tape. is basically like if a package was sent to a military officer or anybody in the military, they basically get examined before it gets to them just because they don't really know what's in there. It could be a bomb, it could be anything. So just to make sure it's safe. And I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, so if I say anything incorrect, you know, sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm just, this is just what I know. Okay, so. Basically right here, this is the actual box, and inside is a World War II Coca-Cola. Absolutely insane. If you look at this, it's pretty disgusting in there. And then here's the actual pack of the actual bottle itself. All right, so this is basically the actual Coke itself. And if you look really closer, it has some crust or like wax on top here. And basically what this is, is this is from, like the guy that I bought it from, he said that he bought it from somebody else, and that guy told him that this was like some crust. But I guess he did some research and he said that, that this is not pressed in like a Coca-Cola. It's actually like wax. And back in those days they used to you to re like to reseal these type of bottles. Because I didn't have like you know the twist caps, I don't know if they were like as popular back then. But he basically used this to reseal, like they used this to reseal it. So potentially this was actually a drink, because it definitely was sent to a soldier. I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't want to say you drank it, you could you spilled it or something, but you know, but assuming he actually drank it, this is like, you know, a drink in Coca-Cola from World War II, so your grandpa, if you're American, <laughs> could have drank this. My grandpa could have drank this. And we're gonna drink it. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see right here, there's this little hole here and it actually has some moisture coming out, and that was from our first attempt at trying to open it. And that means that Coke is so bad for you that it actually broke down <laughs> the metal on this little cap. So we're gonna try to open it right here now and see if I can even get like a hook on it. Like, it's so, like I can't even get the can opener to actually, oh my gosh. It's literally corroded through here. I can't even, it's just making a deeper hole in the cap. We'll just pour it through the hole. That's even grosser. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, it's the only way. Dude, I'm hoping that this is falling in the water, or the Coke. Oh Good. my goodness. Do you want to pour it through the hole? That's disgusting. <laughs> Maybe we can get a straw through there. I feel like that's the, oh my god, dude, look at the tip on the bottle opener. Oh my god. Look, oh. That's, don't drink Coca-Cola, guys, that's what it does to you. That's freaking disgusting. That's from that's know, gross. Like several, several tens of years of being inside this bottle. I think we just draw it. Straw it? Just straw it. That's disgusting. Alright. Oh no! No! Oh my god. No! <laughs> if you guys didn't see, like that huge chunk that was in the <laughs> bottle opener just <laughs> fell in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't open it anymore, it's good. Okay, let's get a straw. Let's just get a straw. <laughs> okay, I'm super in here. I wouldn't put the straw all the way in there, because then you'll suck up the poison. Oh, more of it just fell in when I put the straw there. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not gonna drink this whole thing. I don't know if I'm gonna swallow it. I'm just gonna spit it out, I think, depending on how it tastes. Dude, oh my. 1939. <laughs> my heart's beating so fast. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> No. Oh my gosh. <coughs> oh my goodness. You know, for the first like four seconds, and I. <coughs> for the first four seconds, it tasted like Coke, and then it did it. <laughs> and then it tasted like death. That's insane though, that it actually has a little bit of flavor. I felt like a tiny bit of carbonation from like... Those bubbles are older than your grandparents. Alright, so now my friend Geppetto is gonna do it. You guys have not met him before, so say hi Geppetto. Hi Geppetto. <laughs> His name's actually Anthony, but we call him Geppetto, so yeah. But he doesn't actually try this now. The World War II Coca-Cola. <sighs> it's not, it's just pretty nasty dude, I'm telling you. Go ahead and try it. I'm scared. Should I, should I say a prayer? <sighs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> 1939 liquid going in your mouth right now. <laughs> oh. Dude. <laughs> what did it taste like? 
Dude, at first it tastes normal. Right? And then it tastes like old metal. <laughs> like, it tastes like the house. No, well, yeah, because think about it. This is all corroding for a reason. Because that Coca Cola has been breaking it down for years. Oh my god, I need to rinse my mouth. <laughs> Alright guys, so right here you can see there's actual corrosion right here of everything. I got the other camera out so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, Geppetto's still rinsing his mouth out. If you guys want to see that, go check out my Snapchat. I'll put it on the screen right now. You can go check that out. Um, pretty disgusting. We spit it out because that's not like, it wasn't like drinking Coke. Because over the years and years and years of it breaking down that cap, that cap was like cardboard. It was like so easy to break into. So drinking it, we'd have been drinking 1939 metal, which I have no clue what's in there. It could be lead, anything. So we didn't want to drink it, drink it. So we just tasted it and God, was it terrible. <laughs> so definitely don't do this at home. I don't know where you could do this at home. You could find a 1939 Coke in the first place. But anyway, <laughs> let's sum this up. All right, guys. <laughs> so after rinsing our mouths out, that was, what would you rate it? Uh, one to 10? I was like probably an eight. I would drink it again. Go for it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, let me show them that real quick. There's like tar from the metal that's right here. That's what we drank. Yeah, like we spit it out because like I think both of us spit it out. Like some of it, we got, some of it did go down, but we both spit it out because like I'm not trying to die out here. Like I, I don't think it's good for you. <laughs> yeah, like I think I would have drank it if it would, if it just tasted like Coke. But the thing was, is that the reason why this metal is corroding like this is because the Coke was breaking yeah. it down over years. So we weren't just drinking Coke. That was like that was like. Bottle, like, yeah, like 1939 <laughs> bottle caps. I don't know what they put in caps back then. They're like, what, like lead probably? Yeah, we probably just drank like a gram of lead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna take that risk. But anyway, guys, if you guys need to be huge for his bit of like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys can go ahead and, uh, you know, subscribe if you're new here, that'd be awesome too. Share the video with your friends, all that great stuff, that'd be awesome. Um, but as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.